Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous tour review. Today we're taking a look at a STEM experiment kit on Simple Machines. Special thanks to my friends at Thames and Comos for sending this over so we could take a look at it. This set is an introduction to mechanical physics. It builds 26 working models and you learn about six simple machines. Inside the kit there are a ton of parts and pieces, gears, axles, pieces to run the, the axles through, connectors, there is a manual that it shows you how to build all the different experiments. And there's also a little pamphlet that shows off the other science, technology, engineering, and mathematics kits that they create. So you can see a lot of different cool things in here. Uh, glow and crystal geodes, soap and bath bomb lab, gummy candy lab, engineering boats, coding robotics, lots of cool stuff. Using the included directions, I built a class one lever as well as a caddy for a water bottle. And according to the included spring scale, my caddy and bottle weighs about one Newton. Now I have my weight attached to my lever as well as my spring scale. I can take measurements of the force it takes to lift the bottle. The furthest hole takes about one Newton. I could record that on a data sheet. The center hole is taking me about two Newtons. And closest to the axle, it's taking me about three and a half newtons to move that bottle. This stem kit covers levers, wheels and axles, pulleys, inclined planes, wedges, and the screw. The parts and pieces that you use to build the different experiments are very sturdy. They are pretty easy to assemble. They remind me of some classic building toys, but they're a little bit different. They're a little bit unique. I think it's really funny that you get your own lever with the kit for separating pieces. Uh, it's very appropriate for this STEM Simple Machines kit. The set includes some frame pieces as well as some rods that have a series of holes in them. There's multiple different color connector pieces in different lengths, different types of gears. You can assemble your own pulleys. With each one of the experiments, you get a little science lesson that explains what's going on with this simple machine. It shows you all the parts you're gonna need, and then it has you build the device. In the case of the pulley, you build one basic setup, but there are some variations. Time to operate a fixed pulley. Here's the movable pulley in action. I assembled the compound pulley and it was pretty neat, but I had a hard time filming it. This one would definitely be easier with a friend's help. Most of the experiments have you used the spring scale to take some measurements, and you can use this information to gain some insight into how much work you're actually performing. You can do experiments with gear ratio. Watch how many times I have to crank the handle to get the red peg to go all the way around. One, two, three. This little buggy is part of the wheels and axle experiment, number 11 and 12. You can take force readings on this to see how much effort it takes to move this, then switch out the wheel diameters and see how that affects the way the vehicle rolls. So the Simple Machines STEM experiment kit is a lot of fun to work with. It's really great at teaching you the basic mechanical physics concepts. One of my favorite things is that it includes this spring scale. This allows you to take actual scientific readings that you can chart on graphs or put in a data table and really do some true scientific work. You know, instead of just like, well, it feels like I'm doing less work, you actually know because you can measure it in Newtons. I love that it comes with enough parts to build 26 different working models. Some of them are pretty simple. They build onto each other to make more complicated models. I showed an example in the video of the gear system. There's a more complex model you can build where the gears are working to transfer power and, and really get things moving, and it's just a lot of fun. Here's a picture of that geared carousel that you can build. Ooh, I think I should build the screw clamp. Oh, uh, you get to use the worm gear on this project. This screw clamp is just like a vice in a machine shop.
Once again, special thanks to my friends at Thames and Cosmos for sending over this sample kit so I could check it out. I think it's pretty neat, and any kid that's into building, making, or scientific endeavors is really going to enjoy this kit and get a lot out of it. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.